We've talked music on the show and we've talked art. So before we go today, we're going to talk with a local poet and publisher. Now, poetry is perhaps the ultimate expression of language. I know for my next guest, poetry has always been her preferred form of creative expression. Sherry, thank you for being with me this morning. Well, thank you for having me. Well, it's a pleasure having you here, and I'm excited to hear about Journeys on the Grassy River. But before we get into that, Sherry, how did you end up here in Key West? Well, that's a sea story. <laughs> uh, I came here by sailboat in 1986. I was helping my dad and his wife bring their boat around from California. And we took seven months on that trip and stopped everywhere and had a really good time. Mm -hmm. But when I got to Key West, uh, they, they were going on up to West Palm. My father was a merchant mariner and he was to meet a ship up there. When I got to Key West, I knew the first night I was here I wasn't going any further. I was. Uh, Everybody that, uh, that I met in every joint on Duval Street was a, a sailor or a treasure diver. It was, it was the heydays of the uh, Atocha discovery. Mm -hmm. Or a poet. Mm -hmm. And I figured I'd fit right in. So mm -hmm. I've been here ever since. Okay. And so poetry, is that something that you've always done, Sherry? As long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went to school, you still, uh, we were still taught to memorize and recite poetry. Mm -hmm. So I learned about it at an early age and uh, was uh, fascinated and experimented at it. Mercifully, those childish <laughs> mm -hmm. compositions are lost to history, <laughs> but uh, um, you know, as I went through high school and college, I continued to write and continued to study the poets, great poets in the English language, both modern and classical. Mm -hmm. Who were some of the poets that inspired you? I love Lawrence Fer Ferlinghetti. Uh, and I lived in San Francisco, so I was familiar with City Lights books there. Um, the folk poets, the singing poets like Bob Dylan and Leonard Cohen and, and Joni Mitchell also inspired me in the, in the 60s and 70s. Um, in Key West, I learned about Elizabeth Bishop, and I just love her work as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a long list, I suppose. A long list. Okay. Let's have you read a little bit from your book, Journeys on the Grassy River, Sherry. Yes, these, this is a collection of um, poems about the Everglades. And the next discovery after discovering Key West was discovering the Everglades. I've always enjoyed going uh, on camping trips. And so I took a trip to Everglades National Park and I've been going back at least once a year ever since. Mm -hmm. So a couple years ago, I published a collection of poems that I'd written about uh, the Grassy River, the River of Grasses. Mm -hmm. And um, this is called Nothing Out There. Nothing, whatever, is going on, except the cicadas, except bird voices, except breeze in the pines, and the long mist sound of my breath, my heart, and my voice singing to myself. There is nothing at all to see, except sky and clouds, except butterflies and wildflowers, except tracks of deer and coon by the pond, and scenes from long lost memory, visions of plans and hopes, and my rippled reflection among the reeds. There is absolutely nothing to do once the tent is pitched once the firewood is gathered, once the water is carried. But walk without destination in green places and stand perfectly still and listen and look at nothing. That's beautiful, Sherry. Thank you. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And now you have another book, Sherry, that you're holding right now. And this is with the Key West Poetry Guild. Yes, I've been a member of the Key West Poetry Guild as long as I've been in Key West. And uh, they have been meeting longer than I've been in Key West, some 30 years now. Um, and it's an ever-changing group of people. But um, earlier this year, they formed an editorial board and made a selection of poems that are especially love poems. Mm -hmm. And love in different kinds of, of points of view. And um, I'm proud to say that some of mine were selected. Mm -hmm. 
and in fact, um, also the title poem, which is called Key West, I Love You. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And if you could just read, read a po poem to end the show for us. I think this is absolutely the right one to read. Okay. It's called Key West, I Love You. Key West, I'm in love with you. Not like a girlfriend who wants to change you into something new. Not like a wife who wishes you were like you used to be. Key West, I love you like a dog does. Just glad to see you every day. I don't care where you get your money. I don't care who you sleep with. I don't care if you're ethical. I love you anyway. I want to sit on the dock in front of the schooner wharf bar and look at the color of the finished sunset puddled in the water of the bite. And I don't care if the color spills around the hulls of shrimpers or yachts. I am simply delighted at metallic pinks and blues painting the shapes of miracles. I want to lie on the beach at Fort Zach and identify with the flights of gulls, greedy and free and having fun, claiming raucous credit for their audacious thievery. I want to pretend I'm a frigate bird whose elegant shape of wing and tail forms unspoken songs of nautical miles of trackless sea with a sextant in a nut-sized brain and ages of ancestral memory. I want to go to the Green Parrot Bar and bring home a sailor from some foreign shore. I will stand up on the stage and read these lines and I will bow to the applause of the resolutely unsober. Key West, I love you like a dog does and I don't really care if you're good or bad. In fact, it all truly means nothing to me, but I am very glad to see you. I'll bounce and bark, I'll wag my tail, I will try to lick your face even if you push me off. Key West, take me for a walk. I love it. Thank <laughs> you so much for sharing that this oh, morning. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for being on the show with that's, me, It's Sarah. been a real pleasure. Thank you so much. All right. That's going to do it for me today. I thank you for tuning in this morning, and I invite you to join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.